Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to become successful on YouTube. So after running a YouTube channel for over four years, I think I've sussed out how to really become successful on YouTube. I've grown my YouTube channel from 100 subscribers to almost 16,000 subscribers in almost a year. So today I'm going to be sharing the tips that I've done and stuff that you really should think about when wanting to become successful on YouTube. This video is not a guide on how to start a YouTube channel. This video is more aimed for people who already has a channel or people who are thinking about taking YouTube as a serious career route. So the first thing you need to take into consideration is what does success mean to you and what goals do you have online for your YouTube channel? Success to everyone means totally different. Me on success when it comes to YouTube is reaching 100,000 subscribers. That is, that is when I know that I am successful at YouTube. Your goal and your success could be totally different. Your goal and success could be earning a certain amount of money or reaching a certain amount of goals or certain, reaching a certain amount of subscribers or views. Either way, you really need to figure out before you even want to become successful on what really success means to you. For example, do you want a lot of people to watch your videos? Do you want a lot of interaction? Do you want a lot of subscribers? Do you want a lot of money? There's a load of different goals that you need to be able to lock out onto YouTube. Setting your goals low and then working up higher is the best way to do it. There is no point going onto YouTube and setting your whole goals at 100,000 subscribers when you haven't even got 100. There's no point going onto YouTube aiming to earn 100 pound per video when you haven't even hit the monetization mark. You need to know what you're trying to achieve before you figure out what you want to be successful in. The second thing, and I mean this one, this one you need to do a lot, and I still do it, do it to this day, I do it daily to this day, research. Research, research, research. Make sure you research everything. What videos you want to upload, what's the trend right now, what niche you want to do, the algorithm of YouTube, keywords. There's so much you need to research. It's not as simple as uploading a video and everyone's gonna see it. You need to add in the keywords to your description, you need to add in your keywords to your title, you need your research in your thumbnail, you need the research in the video. Uploading a video without any research isn't gonna get anywhere. Do your research behind your video, do your research on other videos the same before you upload the video. Keywords are the main, main, main focus on YouTube and when it comes to the YouTube algorithm, you need to do your research into what everything is and how everything is placed into the YouTube algorithm before you even try to become successful. While we're on the subject of research and keywords, there are two different types of YouTube tools that I really recommend you using when you're beginning on YouTube or even if you're advanced on YouTube. I use these every single time I do my research on YouTube, every time I upload a video, every time I go in and look at my analytics. I use these two tools to help me get by. The first one is TubeBuddy and the second one is VidIQ. They're both free. You can pay a monthly subscription to unlock more tools than what the free version does. I'll leave the link in the description for both of them down below, but honestly, go over and check them out. They're both an amazing piece of tooling and you get so much out of them. Now, just like any business, whether you're doing YouTube as a business or whether you're doing YouTube as a hobby, you're gonna have your competitions. I have my competitions, you have your competitions. Everyone on YouTube has a competition. Competition. YouTube is a huge platform and unfortunately we do run into these competitions and sometimes the competition can start later than you but still get a lot more views and subscribers than you. That's just how the algorithm works. If you're not using your keywords, you're not going to rank high. You can also take this into the research side of it as well because if you don't know who your competition is, you don't know what your competition is using or you don't know how your competition is doing, how do you know that your videos are going to do well? Sometimes the competition comes in handy because you can see what they're ranking at, you can see what their videos are ranking at and if they're ranking high or if their videos are doing good, you know that the videos that you upload, if you can really reach that competition, you know that them videos are gonna do well. Also search up on your on your competition, see what keywords they're using, see what description they're using, see what things they add into their videos to make it stand
stand out and pop out to grab people's attention. Don't copy their content, make it your own content, make it your own description and title and thumbnail, but also research on how they're doing these things and what keywords they're using. So once you've decided what success means on YouTube to you, you've looked up your competition, you've done a bit of research on the videos you want to upload, the next thing to do is to record the video. Unfortunately on YouTube there are hundreds of millions and millions and millions of videos the exact same of what you're about to upload. You need to make your video unique. You need to make your video the way that you want it. You need to make your video stand out to your audience but also stand out to yourself. If you're making a video that you're not enjoying or you're making a video that you reckon doesn't look good, other people aren't going to watch it. If you are not going to watch your own video, no one else is going to watch the video with you. Your videos, it doesn't have to be high quality, 1080p. You can use a mobile phone to record your videos if you have to. But you need to make your videos unique. You need to make your character unique. No one is going to pass your videos on to their friends if they don't care about them. Your video might not get thousands and thousands and thousands of views to begin with. But as long as they're reaching the right viewer, that's all that matters. Then right, right viewers are going to pass on to their friends, their friends are going to pass on to their friends. As long as you grow a fan base and reach the viewers that are going to watch you, you can become successful that way. Your video does not have to go viral. You don't have to dress up like a clown and run around the street naked for video hits. As long as you hit the right audience and, a, and it's constant uploads, your videos and your channel can hit somewhere. Now one thing that I see on a lot of YouTube channels and when I started YouTube I would do this, I would quickly upload the video because I couldn't wait for it to hit the internet and for people to see it. But doing it the quick way, no one was watching these videos, no one was typing in the keywords that I was adding, people were looking for different keywords. So when you upload the video you need to make sure you fill in the title, the description, the tag box, the thumbnail, the end screen, and even include a video link into the video. Whether it's your video or whether it's someone else's video, just add the little video link. When you download HIQ or TubeBuddy, you will get a section when you upload your video to show you the ranking on your video. If the ranking falls below 50, you know that you're missing a lot of keywords. In your title, you should have the main keyword of the actual video. In the description box, you should have all your video links and all your description links, any artificial links, but you should also add in a nice little description of the video. Just so when you're uploading it to YouTube, the algorithm of YouTube knows what to rank your video and how to rank the video and how viewers are gonna find your video. So make sure when you upload your video, you fill out all your video details. Another way for people to find your videos and for your videos to become a viral hit or to become successful on YouTube is to use social media. Publicize your videos, share your videos. When I first started doing YouTube, I didn't share my videos at all. I didn't show anyone on my, on, on my social media about my videos. I kept it private, I kept it secret. But doing this, it was limiting the amount of views that I was getting. No one was seeing my content unless it was being searched up on YouTube. When I started sharing to my social media, and I started sharing onto Instagram, Facebook, Google, anywhere that I could possibly share it. Facebook pages as well is another awesome place to share your videos as long as it reaches the right topic. Your videos are going to get views. Your videos are going to get click rates. The more click rates and the more views and the more YouTube's algorithm sees that your video is getting watched, the higher it will rank in the search bar. Sharing on social media may be a scary and daunting thing because I didn't want any of my personal life to see my YouTube videos. I wanted to keep them private. But doing so, I made so many more subscribers. I gained so many more views. When I go into my YouTube analytics and look at my source of where people are coming from, 80% of you guys are not coming from YouTube search. You guys are coming from WhatsApp, Facebook, loads of different Google searches. So sharing as much as you can on social media or any sort of platform will get your videos a lot higher ranked. So once you've uploaded your video, your video is public onto YouTube. Now go back over and look over that video. Give it a week or so if you have to, but then go back over and look over the video. See how people was watching it, see where people stopped watching it, see how you can improve that video, see what you could have done differently and do it again. A nice thing that I like to do guys is when you're starting out on YouTube mainly or even now, I still do it now, 
when you're looking up your YouTube analytics, go into your most viewed video and see where people were dropping off. If people were dropping off at the end of the video, you know this video was a hit. Make another video the same. Make a part two of that video. Make a the, the same video but differently. If people are watching that video and you're uploading them videos, you're going to get somewhere. Keep constant with them videos. If you upload a video that is gaming and no one's watching it but you upload a vlog and loads of people are watching it, go over to the vlog. Don't stay with the gaming because the gaming obviously isn't going to get any views but the vlogs are. If you want to be successful on YouTube, you need to make sure you're consistent. Make sure you're listening to your viewers. Make sure that you are engaging with your viewers and uploading what they want to see. So guys, I hope this little tip video do help you grow and be successful on YouTube. It's hard work, it is very hard work, but in the end it pays off and it's very worth it in the end. If you did enjoy this video and this video helped you, please hit that subscribe button. Help my channel grow to 16,000 subscribers and I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you do want any other videos that I can share with you on how to become a YouTuber or how to start a YouTube channel please let me know in the comment section below and I'll upload these videos for you. I want to help others who was like me wanting to start a career of YouTube but had no idea how to even go there. See you all in the next video. It's been your girl. I'm out of here. Peace guys.